Hey guys, I've got another free and open source app pick for you today. This one's a little different because this is a web app. This is Drawio.io and it's very similar to programs like LibreOffice, uh, LibreOffice's Draw program specifically, or uh, I think there is a, a Google Docs equivalent and there are quite a few of these basic diagram drawing programs. You could probably uh, get similar functionality out of something like um, Inkscape, but this is a lot uh, simpler of a program and this is one of the reasons why I'm uh, recommending it today. Because sometimes you don't need a program or application that has as many features as possible. Sometimes you just want to pull down something easy and put you know together a quick diagram and then send it off. I find myself doing this quite a lot because of course I talk with uh, a lot of people in, in tech or actually more specifically I talk with a lot of people who aren't in tech about tech and that really helps to have like a really convenient drawing program to help put together diagrams of like how like um, server clients work or how any sort of like the number of of like computer digital concepts that are easily explained with a diagram over text is, is quite you know is substantial so having a program where you can just put together a quick diagram or flowchart or anything like that and it is it's quite useful I find myself dipping into it a few times if I just need to uh, accompany an email with a diagram or or something like that and it's very it's a very simple um, program. In fact, I don't really need to even demonstrate that many of the features. So this is, for example, if I wanted to do a like a flow diagram, uh, and it, this program is like it's almost designed, or it seems to be designed for sort of such uh, such events because you can click this little down arrow here, and it'll add a second box with a nice little uh, arrow uh, pointing down to it. And uh, if you move the box, it moves the uh, the arrow. So it's you know it's specifically good for. Um, flowchart diagrams like that and of course you can um you know t um put text inside the boxes something which you can do of course in libreoffice draw and you've got all these uh, these interesting shapes uh the grid layout is quite nice it's easy to work with you can change the grid you can change the page view you can change the background uh, when it comes to saving the documents you can save as google drive onedrive dropbox github trello you can just save it to your device and uh, is it saving it in a browser cookie or something like that it's good it's 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 got a decent amount of features, but more importantly, it's easy to use. You just you just set it up. You just put together a quick diagram, apply some text, you know, and um, you can even sort of rotate it like that. So you know, manipulating all the shapes and all this kind of stuff, it's it's just like it's so intuitive, and and it's not massively dissimilar. Like you can do the same thing on LibreOffice Draw, but you don't always have access to LibreOffice Draw. Sometimes you just want you know, sometimes you just want to open a tab. Drawio is hardly a difficult URL to type, and. Um, and it works. It's responsive. It's fast. Uh, this is by no means a a, a fast computer, and um, uh, and occasionally a particularly um, uh, you know like a website that requires a lot of resources will will slow it down at times a little bit noticeably. But this is just the speediest uh, you know little web app that uh, that you can imagine. Very good. Um, yeah. And uh, you can do lots of things with, uh, you can attach uh, your arrow to, say, the front end of that triangle for some reason, if you wanted to do, and then you can do that. Could you even move, yeah, you could probably move the point. Can you move it from there? Yeah, there you go. So that's pretty cool. So you can do quite a lot of, uh, yeah, diagramming stuff, but really, yeah, if you just want something simple, a simple, easy diagram drawing program, this has you covered. And of course, um, you can save it as, export as, PNG, JPEG, SVG, uh, PDF, HTML. I don't know how that saves it as an HTML. Um, but yeah, you can save it as the formats you like. So it's, it's you know, it's got features. Um, and also, the additional component is that if you go into the uh, the GitHub page for the um, Drawio desktop project, you can actually download an app image there, as well as a Windows version and a Mac version and a deb.deb.rpm. Wow, they've packaged this in a few, you know, is Windows, Mac and several shades of Linux. So that's pretty good. Um, but they, it comes as, as an app image. Uh, they packaged it as an app image, going the .deb and the .rpm route for what is effectively a very straightforward and very simple Electron app. It seems a little bit, but, um, but then again, I think that may, might illustrate how... Uh, Electron is is you know it's like quite a good thing because it just makes it that easy to port applications across to a deb to an RPM to an app image Windows Mac Linux, um, and uh, and I know that the Electron gets uh, gets some bad press because it does use more RAM than it really should do, uh, and isn't always used in the best of applications. Sometimes it's used in um, like for example Discord. I mean I very much appreciate having a Discord client on Linux and and absolutely love the Discord client, but. For a program that works in the background and something that's supposed to be a, a sort of a background application, I don't know, Electron, man, 
you know is is that really you know electron ele this is what electron should be used for is like uh, you know it, it is for for apps that you open and then close again but apps that you sort of leave open i i would i i would hope for something a little bit more um resource efficient than that but uh, anyway well, yeah, I'm sure there's enough time for grumbling about Electron apps in the future but it is, it's an Electron app, it works out of the box quite nicely, uh, I've had, had no issues with getting the app image to run run it like a normal app image um, yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to recommend Drawio uh, to you because um, from time to time I need just to put together a quick diagram and um, yeah, LibreOffice isn't installed on every distribution nor do a lot of people yeah, need it to also LibreOffice, another application available as an app image um, and that runs quite nicely as well I think it comes included with its own set of fonts so um, which can be kind of useful anyway, I'll uh, cover that in, uh, in a later video but yeah, Drorio.io uh, link, of course, in the description down below if you can't work it out for yourself. And um, and I'll also put a link to the uh, the GitHub page where you can download the latest app image as well. But that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now. Hey guys, this is just the end screen, so I'm going to promote some things. Uh, feel free to follow me on Mastodon uh, if you want to talk Linux with me. I'm on linuxrocks.online, in my opinion, the best Mastodon server. Also, I'm developing a NeoCities website which lists uh, my favourite applications and websites. So I'll put a link to that in the description as well, and I'm going to be updating that uh, on an ongoing basis. So if you want to see various apps and websites that I recommend, uh, yeah, link in the description. And for those of you that would like to see me in a slightly less technical capacity, I've got another channel where I play games with a few friends of mine called Project Chronicle. I will, of course, link that in the description below. Toodaloo.